Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review and demonstration on the face halo. So this is the modern makeup remover. And I'm also going to be showing you how I do my nighttime skincare routine. So it will also be a um, get unready with. So if you're interested in seeing how this product works or wanting to know what my skincare um, routine is, then please keep on watching. Okay, so the face halo comes with three little round things. I'm just gonna open it up. So you get this little pamphlet right here with Chloe Morella's, I think she's the face of this company. There's two other women um, part of this company. Using face halo. Step one, just add water. Step two, remove makeup, wash and reuse. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. These feel different to what I thought. I thought they'd be um, a lot softer, I think. It feels like there's some sort of cardboard material thing in the middle. It obviously isn't. So you get three of them. So that you can rotate between them. Yeah, so I've just got a ball of water in front of me and I'm going to wet that. I'm just going to pull my hair back. So I'm also going to take off my lashes just because this is how I normally take them off. It says for heavier eye makeup, rehydrate your face halo well with water and hold it on the eyes or eyelashes for an extra 5 to 10 seconds. Okay, I'll try that. I'm, I don't think I'm doing this right. By the way, this is waterproof mascara, waterproof eyeliner. I'm afraid I'll, I'll squeeze water into my eye. That's why I'm being like super gentle. So I wear contacts and normally when I'm washing my face, I have to take them out first because of the cleanser and stuff. And I'm going to do the same with the lips, like leaving it on. This is a Colourpop Ultra Matte Liquid Lip, by the way. I think it's actually doing a really good job. Okay, so I think the more water you put, the better it helps. These corners are really awesome for getting like under your eyes. Okay, so I'd say that that is pretty good. I'll zoom in a tiny bit or a lot. Uh, what did I think of the face halo? I think you would need to do this at a sink preferably because I found that the more water I used, the better the makeup was coming off. I think that it took the waterproof mascara off really well actually. I usually need to go in with like a waterproof eye makeup remover just to take off my like lashes and um, the waterproof mascara. I will say that there is um, some glue residue but it is only water it's not really gonna take that off as well. My face feels pretty clean but personally I wouldn't leave it at this even if I was using a makeup wipe or um, a balm to take this off just for the sake of not getting my entire room wet. So now I'm just gonna go into the bathroom and use the sink and these two products. So I use the Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Cleansing Face Wash and a Vanity, Vanity Planet brush spinner thing just because I feel like this gets a little bit of a deeper clean than my fingers. So I'm gonna go do that and show you the rest of my routine. Just finished washing my face. I managed to get most of the glue off of my eyelashes by just picking at them. But I think, realistically, the face halo would be better suited for more everyday makeup in the sense that like it's not lashes and like a glitter cut crease and like a really dark lip. I think that would be something, it definitely does remove it, but I think it might be better off um, or you might be better off taking that off with like a eye makeup remover or something like that. Removing the face makeup, I feel like my face actually feels soft, it doesn't feel stripped of anything. Is it easier to use than a makeup wipe? Yes and no. I feel like when people use a makeup wipe, they just do it to quickly get it off. But with the face halo, you need to go to the sink and just really wash your face. But I don't mind that because 
I find that makeup wipes actually kind of sting my eyes and they kind of give me this burning sensation. I've tried multiple different ones. I didn't like um, any, really. So yeah, will I be continuing to use that one? Yeah, but I think sometimes I will go back to using my makeup removing balm with like um, a face wash or something. No particular reason other than the fact that I can really rub that one in. Most of the formulas have oils in them. It really helps to break down the liquid lipsticks and such. Now I am going to tone and put my um, serums and moisturizers on. For toner I use this um, Tayers Witch Hazel. And this one's the rose petal one. And I guess now we can also see if there is any residue left. Normally when I do this, um, even when I've double cleansed, I find that there's still a little bit of makeup left. Another downfall of the face halo is that it's not as like flexible as you'd think. Like it's not like a towel where you can just scrunch it up. You can just fold it and get into like the nooks and crannies, but not as well as you would with like um, a regular face towel. That's how much is left on that one. Hardly any on this side. Just a little bit. I have to say I do normally get a lot more than that, so I guess it was right. It really gets deep into the pores and cleans it. Now I'm going in with uh, my Body Shop eye cream. This one is the Drops of Youth, Youth Concentrate. This is the only thing I've found that slightly helps with my dark circles. You might be thinking, oh wow, she still has such dark circles, but trust me, they're normally worse. Just blending that all in. And I'm going in with salicylic acid. This one's from The Ordinary. Can you see it? I've like labeled them because all the bottles look the same and I get them confused. I also use the ni niacinamide or something. The other one in the mornings. So I just do four drops of that. And also from The Ordinary, I go in with the azelic azelic acid. Just take about that much. And I just dot that all over and I rub that in as well. And after applying this, I find that my skin looks really matte. And it just looks like really smooth. I don't know. Looks like I'm in Photoshop. Just gonna put on a little bit of lip balm, just using my Aquaphor. Aquaphor? Aquaphor. One there. And then I'm going with, this is my nighttime moisturizer, um, the Antipodes Avocado Pear Nourishing Night Cream. Dot that all over my face. And you really don't need a lot of this stuff. It's very moisturizing. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed getting unready with me. And let me know what you think about this. And let me know what you think about the face halo. Um, down below if you've tried it if you're going to try it based on my um, review and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye